Hello all viewers and aspirants, what do we have today? There is Barack Obama, Mohammed Salah, then there is Anne Hathaway and Malala Yousafzai. But they look little different because they are caricatures. This is word of the day today and uh, let me read because even I have to learn the new words. Uh, a caricature is a picture or a description or an imitation of a person in which certain striking characteristics are exaggerated in order to create a comic effect as you can see in every picture the heads of these people have been enlarged or exaggerated so as to make a comic effect so this is the word for us today caricature even though we have started with the verbal ability we are going to learn permutations and combinations today which is a general aptitude section uh, welcome back my name is devashesh and this is an ed sharpener production Usually what people understand about permutation and combination is counting different number of ways of something and there are different formulas for permutation and combinations. But what we are going to do today is to not learn the formulae and not solve problems with the formulae but with a different kind of a trick which can be applied to any problem across permutations and combinations. With that particular trick you will understand why a particular formula is used for a permutation and used for a combination. So what we are going to do today is to see what is a permutation and solve few problems and then we will see what is a combination and then solve some problems for it. All right, so let's start. Okay, so what is a permutation? Basically, permutation is the arrangement of n different things. So here, different or distinct things is a keyword. So things have to be different. So uh, the arrangement of n different things in a linear order. All right. So I am using a linear because we are going to see circular permutation as well. So the problem statement would be how to arrange these four people in different ways or find out the number of ways in which these four different people can be arranged in a queue. Hindi mein kaha jaye to in char logo ko line mein khade karne ke kitne tarikhe hain. So the formula that we know of permutation, many people of you might be knowing, it's n factorial. Alright. But we are not going to solve this problem with this particular formula. So this formula says if there are four people, if they have to be arranged in a linear arrangement, there are going to be four factorial ways of doing it. Permutation is nothing but the number of ways. So don't get confused. So four factorial is nothing but 24. If you don't know what is four factorial, it's four into three into two into one. So which is 24. But as I said, we are not going to use this formula. So what is the method that we are going to use? It is called a box method. We are going to use a box method so we are going to place four boxes each box represents a space now this is a very important method and i want you to have some attention over this so what we are going to do is we are going to look at every box and we are going to see what are the choices for that box for people to stand in there we have used four boxes as after arrangement of four people we are going to have four spaces all right so let's see if I have to send one of these four people in the first box. All right. So how many choices I have? Of course, because there are four people, I have four choices in which I can send. I mean, I have to increase this arrow like that. So yes. So for the first box, I have four choices of sending people there. Okay. Now let's say if this blue man goes into the first box now there are three remaining and now i have to send one person in the next box so there are three ways of doing it all right similarly after let's say this green woman goes into this this second box for the third box again because there are two people left i have two choices and for the last box whoever will be remaining I will have one choice of doing it. Now there is something that you need to understand very carefully. For every choice 
that I'm sending in the first box, I have three choices in the second box and two choices in the third box and the one choice in the last box. Because I'm using this word for each choice in the first box, I have three and two and one choice. We are going to multiply these. All right, मतलब अगर ये नीला आदमी यहाँ पे जाता है तो यहाँ पे हरा भी जा सकता है लाल भी जा सकता है येलो भी जा सकता है तो इसके हर एक चॉइस के लिए यहाँ पे तीन चॉइस जनरेट होते हैं अगर यहाँ पे ग्रीन वाली लेडी जाती है तो यहाँ पे ब्लू रेड और येलो ये सारे लोग जा सकते हैं तो यहाँ के हर चॉइस के लिए यहाँ के तीन चॉइस है यहाँ के हर चॉइस के लिए इसके दो चॉइस है और यहाँ का एक चॉइस है तो वी आर गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई ईच डिजिट एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू जनरेट फोर इंटू थ्री इंटू टू इंटू वन एंड लुक हाउ वी हैव अराइव एट अ फैक्टोरियल ऑफ फोर सो दैट इज हाउ यू डू परम्यूटेशन ऑफ एन डिफरेंट थिंग्स वेन यू हैव टू अरेंज दैन इन अ पर्टिकुलर ऑर्डर आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ पीपल और द एग्जामिनर्स डू अ लॉर्ड ऑफ वेरिएशन इन सच काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वन कॉमन वेरिएशन इज दैट लेट से इफ दीज टू वेमेन विश टू स्टैंड टूगेदर ऑलवेज इन अ लाइन so what we have to do is we are going to consider only three spaces for us because the two women are going to stand together we are going to consider them one unit so there are this one person another one and a third person so how many ways we can arrange three people three factorial but these two women can stand interchangeably every time that means a green woman can stand ahead of the red and once red can stand ahead of the green so internally they can arrange themselves in how many ways two factorial again we are using multiplication because for every choice of arrangement of the three spaces the two women can interchangeably stand and that is why we are using the multiplication here so that is the answer for the question when the two women wish to stand together so i think you understand how permutation problems can be designed and we can solve them through the box method so this is another application for the arrangement of the letters so the question is in how many different ways can the letter of the word caricature can be arranged all right so we have to arrange the letters of the word caricature so how many letters are there let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so what we are going to have are the 10 boxes okay so let's draw 10 boxes first 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 9 and 10. so we are going to send the letters in every box so how many choices we have for the first box we have 10 choices for the second 9 so if we keep doing it we get 10 factorial but there is a catch now in the last problem if you remember the people when we use the word people people are considered different but here letters are same when they repeat they are the same so there are two c's two a's and two r's so in all of these ways we have also considered the ways in which we can also interchange the c here and here but still the word will be the same so such ways should be removed from that now because we have considered these in that particular formula we will have to divide by the number of ways c's can be arranged in themselves so we will divide with the number of ways c's can arrange themselves because there are two c's we use two factorial similarly we have to divide for the a's and we have to divide for the r's so what we learn here is if there is a word of n letters and if there are three letters appearing for a times b times and c times the number of different words that you can form using the letters of the given word are n factorial divided by a factorial multiplied by b factorial multiplied by c factorial so i hope you understand this particular problem let us see what we have next so we have circular permutation in the next slide in a circular permutation it is unlike linear permutation because here we do not have a reference to explain that i have drawn two figures on the left there are five people standing and on the right again these only five people are standing but in a different way but actually 
these two ways are considered the same look at let's say a green man on the right hand side of this green man there is a yellow woman and on the left hand side there is a pink woman similarly on the right hand side of this green man is a yellow woman and on the left hand side he has a pink woman standing there so everybody has shifted one step to the left so basically they are arranged in a same order relative to each other but they just look different so this these kinds of ways are considered same in circular permutation so what we have to remember is that we have to fix a reference point for the space that we are considering now again we are going to use the method of boxes so let's send any person at any position to just fix a particular reference for us okay so let us say if we send this yellow woman in the first box all right now what happens is when this yellow woman stands here we have the reference we have starting and ending point you can consider this start and this end but remember these two these two ways of arranging will be different and we are already counting them so this is as good as a linear permutation we have but the case is now we just have n minus 1 people because we just have to arrange n minus 1 people in a linear arrangement as soon as we fix a reference so the number of ways of arranging n minus 1 people in a linear permutation is n minus 1 factorial so if you have to make the circular permutation of n people we have the formula n minus 1 factorial in this case because n is equal to 5 the answer would be 4 factorial now there is a very obvious question that for the first choice i chose to send this yellow woman in the box so we had five choices to send in a particular box but because we were just putting a reference point anyway everybody went into some or the other box so it didn't matter in the overall picture that is why we did not consider five choices or the n choices for the first box i hope you understand now let's move forward with a circular permutation of beats now this is a little different than the permutation of distinct things as you can see we have similar things here as you can see everything is a diamond so there is no distinction between two diamonds so in this particular case if they were distinct we know the formula is n minus 1 factorial but in this particular case the starting and ending point are not different so even if you arrange them clockwise or anti-clockwise these two ways are not distinct which we have counted in n minus 1 factorial so what we will have to do is to divide n minus 1 factorial by 2 because there are two number of arrangements we have already considered by making them count clockwise and anti-clockwise as a different position okay so if you have circular permutation of beads remember beads is a word used for similar things so you have to watch out for similar things and distinct things because the formulae for permutation and combination change okay i hope you understand this point as well so i'm not going to cover a problem on circular permutation i hope you come up with the problems like a round table meeting or the permutation of beads because i have gone through the process i think you can find out answers of the most of the problems let's move to combination now let us see what is combination when number of distinct n things is larger than the vacancies that we have what essentially we have to do is before arranging the people in four spaces we have to select them first selection multiplying it with permutations of the selected people in the given vacancies gives you total arrangement so total arrangement can be done with the box method like we do and then we are doing permutations as well in that but we are just interested in the selection so let's see how we can find out a formula for selecting r number of people out of n distinct people what we need is the number of ways in which you can select four people out of seven people so let us say we first find the arrangement of seven people in different four spaces so you select four people let's say there are x number of ways in which you can select four number of people out of seven people 
then you will have to multiply it with permutations and then we have the total arrangements we have the formula or the trick to find total arrangements all right so we start with the box method so we have total seven people and how many choices do we have for the first box so there are seven choices then for the next box we have six choices then we have five choices and then the four choices all right so total arrangements are seven into six into five into four which is nothing but seven factorial divided by three factorial now see total arrangements are seven factorial divided by three factorial which is nothing but number of ways in which we have to select four people out of seven people and then make permutations of those four people okay do you understand this because for every choice of selection we have four factorial ways of putting them in a different arrangement all right so total arrangement is equal to x times four factorial where x is equal to total number of ways in which you can select four people out of seven people so x is equal to 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial divided by 4 factorial this x is nothing but number of ways in which you can choose 4 people out of 7 people you can translate this particular formula for the combination as if you need to select r distinct things out of n distinct things the formula that we use is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial divided by r factorial let's see a variation of the same explanation i just gave you selecting people one by one for a particular position is different than selecting some people out of n people for the same position all right so here what we are interested in selecting people for the same position all right so whenever you come across the words like selecting a captain or selecting a vice principal selecting a principal when the places or the spaces are important then only you do seven times six times five times four because then you have to give each individual choice for each individual position but selecting four people out of seven at the same time can be explained a little differently. Let us say we have created four cards, selection cards. Let's say S, four cards, and there are three rejected cards. All right. And we just give these cards to these people. And whoever gets the uh, S card gets selected and other three get rejected. Now, in turn, we are changing this problem into arranging the letters of arranging these seven letters in different formats. So basically what we are trying to do is arranging seven different letters out of which there are four S's. So four are equal S's and three are equal R's. In these many ways, we can select four people out of seven people. So selecting four people at the same time is little different than selecting four people one after the other. Let's move forward and see a very famous problem that we just have seen in the movie Super 30. There is a scene where Rithik Roshan's character asks his student, if you are 30 people and if you shake hands with each other once, how many handshakes were performed in total? So this is a problem you can do according to different rules. So we just have to measure or we just have to count the number of handshakes. So for each handshake, you need two people. So there are different ways to do this problem. How we can do this is every time you choose two people out of 30, you get a different handshake. And that means to count all these handshakes, you need to find the number of ways in which you can choose two different people out of 30. So that's what will give you the number of handshakes 30 minus 2 which is 28 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial which is 29 multiplied by 30 divided by 2 which is 29 multiplied by 15 that is 435 ways 
or the 435 handshakes. Another way to do this same problem is through summation. So let us say the first person shakes hand with 29 other people. All right. Then the second person has to shake hands with 28 other people, but not the first one because they have already shook hands. So 29 plus 28. The third person will have to shake hands with 27 and so on. And the last pair, when there are only two people left, the second last person will have to shake hand once to the last person. And this will give you the total handshakes. And now this is the formula of summation of 1 to 29. And you can apply the rule of n into n plus 1 by 2 to find the summation. So n is the total number of terms. So here n is equal to 29. Again, the same thing 29 multiplied by 30 divided by 2, 4, 35 handshakes. So in both the ways you can find out the number of handshakes done. So this is where we have covered the important concepts of permutations and combinations. I hope you have understood and if you want more problems on the channel, please let us know in the comment section. We'll be happy to put more problems of permutations and combinations. I hope you are practicing really well and your studies are going really good. If you're loving the videos on our channel, please subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it as much as possible so that everybody in your particular circle is very, very knowledgeable. Thank you so much.